Well hi everybody. What a dull old day we've got here today. We've got wind, it's not very warm, but it's dry, that's the main thing. It's not raining, which we've had plenty of just lately, so we're quite pleased about that. But quite dull and miserable, very overcast. Everything's going all right, everything's working well. What we're going to do now, we'll nip into the filter house and have a look and see how things are going temperature wise and with the new air source heat pump. We'll have a look at that. It's been running over a week now so we'll see the results of uh, power usage which we're all dying to know. Well hi guys, I do apologise I'm a little bit late. I've been quite busy today so I've not been able to get in here but we'll have a quick look. Now the RDF, the water coming into the RDF is 15.1, the heater's not running at the moment obviously, so that's the pond temp, 15.1. But more importantly today is the day, 7 days, well actually to be honest it's 7.5 days. I wanted to get in here at dinner time and do this but I didn't get in here, I was a bit busy. So we're going to have a look, it's 7.5 days so it's a full week and we have on the uh, power meter £6.50 so that's not bad £6.50 for seven and a half days so uh, only just over £6 for the full week which I don't think is too bad at all especially the weather we've had nights have been really cold they've been down to minus or plus two daytime it's come up a bit we've been running from about four to eight degrees in between that we've been up and down a bit so we're still suffering with cold weather and it's cost six pound fifty for seven and a half days so i don't think that's too bad at all i'm quite happy with that i don't think you're going to get a lot cheaper to be honest but i wanted to show you that after the week and like i say i'm well pleased with that that'll do for me and as you can see guys my koi food's just come i've just had that delivered I've got some of the uh, NT Labs Medicoy and I've got the Akari Wheat Germ. So that'll keep them going for a while. I've still got a bit of the other just to finish off. I've also got had this delivered as well. I've got some uh, more Japan mix from Queenie Koi. I've got some more of that. The wheat germ and garlic is just about empty now, so they'll soon be on the Akari. I, I do like to mix it a bit. I do like that Akari food to be honest. I mean some do buy the koi food in bulk, I don't because koi food if you've kept it a long while will lose its goodness and when you can get it delivered in a couple of days, this is just my opinion, but I don't think it's worth storing it or buying it bulk, the older it gets it will lose a lot of its goodness. So I get mine as and when I need it. As the pond's now up to 15 degrees, I'll obviously be feeding all the way through now till the spring. I shall need it and that'll keep them going for a little while. Mind you, the way they're eating at the moment, it'll not last that long, I don't think. <laughs> they are eating well. But yeah, it's just, uh, just been delivered, so I've got that. We're ready to go with that just as soon as I've finished the other stuff off. Now it is just starting to rain. It was dry, but uh, the rain is upon us. The air source heat pump, I have to say, I'm well impressed with that. It's going really well. And that little roof over the top is just keeping it nice and dry under there. It is really windy here today, so I hope that's not interfering too much. But yeah, I have to say that is a nice bit of kit. I'm well impressed with that. And it's quiet as well. It's not like some of them are a bit noisy, but it is quiet, I have to say. And you can also run these in quiet mode. There is a mode on them where they don't use as much power and they don't put out quite as much, but you can't hear them running at all if you put that on. You hear absolutely nothing. They're really quiet. But just running it in normal mode, I never hear the thing. I never know whether it's cut in or out. But I'm really pleased with that. It was well worth the money, I have to say. Well, once again, good morning everybody. It was a really cold night last night, but uh, it's warming up now. It's about six or seven degrees, I think. So we are steadily warming up. It's about quarter past 11 in the morning, so it's still warming up a little bit. We have seen, or the sun is trying to break through. So it'd be nice to see a bit of that. We had rain all day yesterday, so I've got absolutely nothing done yesterday. It absolutely chucked it down. What I want to do this morning, I'm going to uh, 
get the lid up on the air source heat pump and I want to fit the Wi-Fi. I have actually got the Wi-Fi so I want to get that fitted today so I'm going to get the lid up and uh, we'll have a go at fitting that. It is running at the moment so I'm going to wait till it's finished heating the pond up. Um, once it cuts out I will then switch the power off because you do want the power off to do this. You don't want to be doing it while it's running. So I'll just wait for it to finish heating the pond up. I'll get the lid up and then we'll get the Wi-Fi out and see about getting it fitted. We'll just nip and have a look at what the running costs have been. I did reset the power meter and it's now been running, this is the fourth day, so it's run four days. We're just moving into the fifth day. So we'll nip and have a quick look and see what the running costs are on that. I reset it Friday morning and it's now Tuesday dinner so we've gone a little bit over but nothing to worry about but in the four days the actual running costs are £2.96 £2.96 so that's not bad is it for four days so you can work it out I suppose it'll be about £5 a week we have had some really cold nights we did have one mildish day where it got to 12 degrees but apart from that it's been pretty much like today it's pretty cool it's about seven degrees outside at the moment so two pound 96 i'll settle for that i do have my air source heat pump i don't have it at a one degree difference from cutting in to cutting out what i actually have is 0.5 degree difference so mine will cut in at 15 and then cuts out again at 15.5 so it keeps the pond within half a degree basically like i say we'll just wait for that to cut out now and then i shall turn the power off and we'll see about getting the actual wi-fi fitted to the heater i'm not quite sure what sort of signal we've got outside but i will have to check that but we'll just wait for it to finish heating the pond up and then i'll be back and we'll get this wi-fi fitted hopefully okay guys this is the wi-fi unit that's just come We've got a splitter cable, because you have to split the cable that actually runs to the, the main screen on the front of the heater, and that is the actual Wi-Fi unit. So uh, that's got a little magnet on it, so you just sort of stick it on the side of the actual air source heat pump. That just sticks onto the side. I've downloaded the app on my phone, so that's ready to go, and it's just a matter of getting this fitted now. As soon as the air source heat pump stops, we'll get that powered down and get it fitted. I have actually fitted a Wi-Fi booster. It's a TP-Link one. I fitted the Wi-Fi booster into the socket in the house nearest to the actual heater. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed now that that'll boost the signal enough to run the actual Wi-Fi on the air source heat pump. Okay, so I've got the cover up on the top and it's just this second cut out, that's handy. So I can now go switch the power off and we can get this fitted. It's going to be a bit of a job me showing you this because it's got to go in down there. So it's not going to be easy, but I'll get the wiring done, get it wired in and then we'll see if we can get it set up. See if we've got enough signal over here. But that's the job now, it's just cut out so I'll get it powered down so that we can get this fitted. Okay, I've got the Wi-Fi fitted. <laughs> I have to say, if you're going to do this, do it before you fit your heater in, if you've got any restriction here at all. It was a bit of a rave, because I couldn't really get in there and see what I was doing. But I have managed to get it done. It's in, the Y connector's in. So I can now power up again, and we'll just make sure the front screen's working, because the Y cable goes in that loop there. So you have to split it so that one goes to the screen and one go comes up for the Wi-Fi. I have actually got it on there at the back. So now I'll take it off because I want to see what's going on. I'll get my phone, get it powered back up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well guys, I'm sorry I didn't get any more outside video of connecting this Wi-Fi up. But it's just we've just had the heavens opened up and it's absolutely chucking it down. You can probably hear it on the roof. But I did have to move the actual Wi-Fi extender. I've moved that in here. So it's now in the filter house and it's working fine. So if I get my phone out, I did actually finish off the setup. It wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would be, but we got there in the end. 
So if we open my phone up and have a look here, I hope you guys can see this all right. This is the actual program. And as you can see, I hope you can see the data on there. If we open that up, the pond temp's 15.5 that's coming back from the pond. And these are all the settings where you can switch the heater on and off and change all your settings. That's your buttons for that. It gives you a weather forecast actually across there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it seems okay. I've only just got it uh, connected up, but it does seem okay. Everything's working on it. So, uh, yeah, great stuff. So I'm now connected to my heater. I can sit in my front room and uh, tell you whether my heater's heating up or not. Switch it on or off or do what I like. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Seems to go all right. Anyway, it is absolutely chucking it down, so I'm not going to get a lot more done today, I'm afraid. But everything's going okay. What have we had since Friday? I put it on Friday morning and it's now Wednesday morning. So I've had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, five days. And we've got £3.80 for five days. So that's not bad, I don't think. Pretty good. And that's kept the pond temp, like I say, at uh, 15 degrees. It cuts in at 15 and cuts out at 15.5, so just lifts it that half a degree. It's, there's not a big uh, temperature change, so all's going well there. So that's that all set up. So I'm all up and running. Um, I've got all my roof finished off. I've got that done. I can't show you that at the minute because it's absolutely oofing it down. All that's done, so yeah, just leave it now to do its job and it's keeping the pond temp spot on actually so all done and finished with that at the moment another job done well guys the night's drawing in on this christmas eve open your presents time in the morning i do hope my heater video has uh, enlightened one or two of you on uh, heating a koi pond i hope it's been of some sort of help i must say i am pleased with it i'm really uh, chuffed with the way it's going but that's about it, the heater's all up and running. I just thought I'd bring you this quickie just to uh, put you right on just how far we got and how far we was going. The moon's up in the sky, I don't know whether we can see that. So it's getting late. That's it guys for this video for this year, I would imagine. You all have a great time over Christmas and stay safe, whatever you do. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all my friends out there. You've been absolutely fantastic this year. Thank you for your support on the channel. Absolutely 100% appreciated. Thanks, guys. All I've got to say is you all take care. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And as always, Happy Bonding. <laughs>